If you want the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere, make sure you head over to g2a.com. There is a link in the description below. This is a review of WWE 2K17 on the PlayStation 4. This is the latest instalment in the 2K range. Let's see what it's like. Okay, so first you can see that the menu has changed from last year. There is no more pictures on the, on the screen. You have a minimalistic setup of just words for one on one matches um, for your career, for your universe, for your creations, as you can see down here. You've got all your different creations that you can do. The community, your online, the My WWE, your options, and the store. So there is no more pictures, you just have the wrestlers every now and then walking into frame. The latest installment into the game is the backstage area mode. It is a mode that's been missing for some time now, and it's a brilliant mode, and I'm so glad they brought it back. As you can see in this scene here, you're actually in Triple H and Stephanie's office. Sometimes you have Triple H standing there, sometimes you have uh, Stephanie standing there. And it is a great mode to have. There's so many more OMG moments in the backstage area. And I am highly glad they brought it back. There is another feature with the backstage area mode. It can be accessed by Falls Count Anywhere match. As you can see here, you're on the stage, you press L1, you can walk into the back, your opponent will follow you. And you'll come into the back, into the walkway area before you come out onto the ramp. And then the backstage area from there can be accessed into the locker room, into Triple H and Stephanie's office. And as you can see there, through Seamus' head into a telly. That's a, that's a nice feature. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. The next mode I'm going to show you now is the WWE career mode. It's slightly different from last year. Uh, they have focused all their energy on career mode and universe mode because there is no longer a 2K showcase mode anymore. But there are some slight differences in this year's career mode to last year's. First off, you'll see down the bottom here, you have a Heyman Guy challenge. Once you collect your first championship, you can either you can click onto Heyman Guy challenge and if you want to go towards the authority you can do that you can go to the authority bit and complete their challenges or you can go into Heyman Guy challenge and you can ditch the authority go with Paul Heyman and try to get somewhere like you got CM Punk and where he's got Brock Lesnar nowadays you also have the t-shirt sales mode so once you uh, get high enough in the rankings you'll start to produce t-shirts um, and that will, that will boost up your confidence, that will get your sales in and things like that. Also, there is the promo mode, which we will show now.
poking the bear. In the promo mode, you will come out to the ring and you'll be greeted with this screen here. It gives you four different options for something to say. There is a timeline that runs down, so you have to be quick and figure out what to say first. Up in the top left-hand corner, you will see your promo performance. That goes up depending on which phrase you choose. If you choose a good one, it goes up. If you choose a bad one, it will go down. Also, as well, you have your face bar at the bottom there. Uh, that will go up or down depending on what you say to the crowd, if they respect you, if they don't. As you can see here, I did a heel turn and after slating off the fans, Triple H and Stephanie came out as the authority and has booked me into a steel cage match. That steel cage match will be up against Kevin Owens, so we'll see that next and we'll I'll go through all the different mechanics that the game has had. This is the entrance that I have created. Uh, you can create now your own video, uh, so like the highlight reels you can put back on there, but if you don't have any highlight reels for the time being, you can just have a plain background, a different background with your logos, things like that, and the music as well. So that's a nice new feature that they have on there. There is also the create a victory uh, mode in there as well. So we're back into the actual gameplay itself. Uh, the gameplay itself has been lacking few years with glitches and things like that this year is is no different uh, there is still some glitches in the game the graphics themselves haven't really changed from last year but it's the whole new style of play now um, that has changed and it's a lot more smoother it's a lot more fun to play it gives you um, more it gives you more of a target to reach and uh, it makes you feel like you're actually in the ring. Um, it does work really well and I'm glad that they've made these minor little tweaks but obviously I would like the, the glitches to, uh, to be fixed. The next part here is the Create a Superstar mode, which is one of 2K's greatest achievements. Um, they never fail to disappoint in the Create a Superstar mode. There is thousands of different things you can do. Uh, as you can see here, you can readjust, realign all the facial features and things like that, re, re immerse all them. Uh, you can change all the, the shoulders, your biceps, everything else. Um, the the move sets can all be changed, um, all your your ring entrance and all your clothing and things like that. It hasn't changed, uh, there's been a lot more things added, but it is still one of the greatest creation tools in games I think so far, especially in obviously in all the WWE games so far. So what do we think of 2K17 then? It is a fantastic game, there's no doubt about that. The uh, the gameplay is brilliant, the roster is great. There is, uh, we've got some good points and bad points here, we'll bring it up on the screen now. Uh, good points, obviously, backstage area mode, brilliant mode. Roster is fantastic, we've got a good gameplay. The promo feature is brilliant. Uh, bad points, obviously, still a bit glitchy around every now and then, and the commentary is better than last year, but it's still not great. Still a bit repetitive every now and then. So what are we going to give this game out of 10 then? Um, obviously we've got to put into account the good points and the bad points, but I think it deserves a very solid 8 out of 10. Congratulations to 2K for making a fantastic game. They are going to give it an 8 out of 10. 
If you do agree with me, then like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'd love to hear your comments down below as well. And thank you very much, and I'll see you again for another review.